Hello Reapers, my name is Seth and we are back here with some more Trove to Trove and today we're going to be talking about Reshade, which for those of you that don't know, that's pretty much how we've got Trove looking as beautiful as it does. Now just a quick heads up before we get started with this folks, if you're already having frame rate issues with Trove because obviously the game is very poorly optimized, uh, Reshade might not be the best option for you because what it's going to end up doing is taking power from your GPU, uh, your graphics card, and just kind of pouring it into the game and making it look that much prettier. Uh, originally this program uh, apparently was supposed to be used for screenshots and stuff like that and I want to give a shout out to my man Stratus because he ended up actually telling me about this because he was actually looking up some other videos and screenshots on other games and then someone said oh yeah use reshade and then we just started experimenting with it uh, and trying it out in game and it certainly does look good and you can end up tweaking a whole bunch of different settings and stuff like that uh, originally some of my other videos you saw I had my bloom up way too much and I've kind of tweaked it down a little bit to being a very very subtle change it might seem subtle but this is what Trove normally looks like right here uh, and then this is it with the reshade so you can kind of set up a toggling button to just turn it on and off so you get to see that we get more brightness vibrancy uh, as well as just the bloom on the tree and stuff like that see the tree itself it's just sitting there all willy-nilly and then we end up going into it and it's got a nice little hue of blue ar uh, bloom around it which uh, you know a lot of that has to do with the fact that the bloom and stuff like that seems to detect certain levels of brightness within a game so you'll notice that when it's really really bright out in trove the sky itself is going to be like blinding whereas certain times of the day where the sun is the only thing that's actually a uh, a solid white block or, or white color it's going to end up illuminating and just looking absolutely majestic you can also end up getting god rays that you can end up putting into the game and stuff but my point being is that like you can see there's a lot of bloom on this sign because it's a solid white and there isn't that much bloom here on these torches because they're actually like a lower tiered color right so that's just kind of how reshade works near as i can tell but anyways you don't care about that you just want to know how you actually get the program so i'm going to put a link in the description to where you actually download the reshade app uh, or reshade exec right and what you just end up doing is you're going to end up using that program to install or extract in another uh, form uh reshade to the actual like trove folder you can do this for any game as well so as soon as you end up launching the exec it's going to just start start you off with this where you have to select a game so what you're going to end up doing is uh looking for the trove exec so for people that are using glyph it's going to be trove program files glyph games trove live and in that folder you're going to see the trove.exec and then for people that are using steam of course it's going to be steam steam apps uh common uh, steam games and stuff i'll put i'll put it on the screen right now because i'm not exactly sure where it is uh, but anyways uh you're gonna have a couple different options right here uh, as far as choosing what the game is going to end up launching with now just a heads up to those of you that are out there that actually end up recording uh youtube videos and stuff like that you're gonna want to stay away from OpenGL because it has a lot of issues with certain recording software more specifically shadow play is going to end up having some real big issues with OpenGL so long as you're actually using two different monitors because if you have two monitors and both of them are actually at uh, the same resolution but the monitor itself is at a different resolution shadow play is going to end up recording uh just incorrectly it's going to end up recording at the wrong resolution and your footage is going to come out all weird so what i would recommend for trove anyways is direct 3d9 so you're just going to end up uh, finding the game exact and then you just choose direct 3d9 and that's it that's all there really is to installing it and then you just end up launching the game as you normally would and then you're going to be uh prompted with uh this right here is going to end up showing up and it's going to have like a whole bunch of different like kind of tutorializing you into it right so what I'm going to do is so that you can end up just having a quick crash course if you don't want to end up going through all these settings because there sure are a lot of them. Uh, you can end up going to a Dropbox link that I'm going to put in the description to a trove.ini file. And that's the file that I'm actually using right now to get all of the settings that I've got, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the trove good any that you download into your trove live folder. All right, so it's gonna have to be in the same folder that you ended up uh, selecting the game exact. And then all you really gotta do is just relaunch the game. 
uh, with the, you know, the program is just going to end up automatically launching up itself. And then just click this down arrow right here and select Trove Good. And then there you go. You're already going to end up having all the same settings. And if you go into the settings tab right here, uh, you can set up an effects toggle hotkey. So that's where uh, Shift F2 is going to be the way that you bring this up in game. And then Shift F3 is the custom command that I set up to make it go away where you ended up seeing we turn the visuals off and on. Usage mode is going to be, you know, configuration mode means that you're going to be able to pull this menu up at any time and start configuring and tweaking all the settings and stuff. While if you set it to performance mode, it's just going to start running and that's it. Like it's going to end up making it uh, run a lot smoother because of the fact that you're not going to be able to change things. So you might want to try that out if you're running into issues with like graphics and everything like just kind of exploding on your computer uh, and then otherwise you know there's a couple different things like uh, we're gonna collapse all right here these right here at the top these are all going to end up being the different settings that you can end up putting so we can put ambient light you can see it's just kind of uh putting a nice big ray uh, red ambient light right here maybe it's a little bit too red so what you're gonna do is in this bottom tab right here you can customize every single setting that you go through so you can really tweak this up to be what you want specifically right so we go to the ambient light and we can actually see that we've got uh you know the adaptation right here and we can end up tweaking okay do we want it to end up going too bright or too dark and stuff adaptive lighting of course in normal games is when you're inside a cave and then you'll look outside and then you come outside and you're like your character's blind for a few seconds obviously it's not going to end up working with trove very well and generally speaking even though it looks pretty is not really a setting that I personally like in my games. You know, I often turn off ambient light, motion blur, and stuff like that if I can. But you can see, like, the bloom and lens flare right here, which, you know, that's going to end up being a very, very subtle just because of what I did. You can kind of see right at the top here, you're going to see, as soon as I turn it on, uh, the clouds are emitting a little bit of a bloom, and it's just because of the time of day that it is. But again, you can end up just going into the bloom settings and kind of changing things up. Yeah, you can set up what the tint is going to be of the bloom, so you can kind of have, like, a nice blue overhang of, like, oh, this is going to be quite beautiful right rather than if you wanted it to be green or if you wanted it to be uh red which of course is going to end up working more specifically to certain areas that's why again this is mostly recommended as a screenshot software rather than something that you play with because of the fact that you can adjust and tweak things to your perfection for an actual screenshot right but they got lots of different things like there's even this cartoon mode which ends up pretty much cell shading everything and honestly speaking this program is in extremely like it's impressive to say the least because i don't know how the game detects so many different things that you can visually see uh to the point where it ends up you know tweaking things as much as it does so you know color matrix is going to end up uh, obviously changing the colors a bit and colorfulness is what i end up having on so that it makes the colors a little bit more vibrant and stuff you can end up doing curves which uh, you know on trove isn't going to make that much of a difference and dalton eyes which kind of makes it like see this would be a great screenshot for the night time obviously so you know so you could kind of have like a nice uh haunted theme going on but you don't want to necessarily use that when you're playing the game and all i really do is just kind of go through uh, you know i just kind of went through all of the settings and kind of tweaked them all to what i like so you can just kind of end up doing that yourself you can end up going for motion blur or, or not motion blur but uh like a depth of field so you can have like blurriness in the background and stuff like that and while the program actually does a fantastic job trying its best to do that, uh, one thing that you're going to notice is because of the way that Trove works, you know, this program obviously is just kind of uh, putting all of this stuff onto the screen itself. And because of that, uh, you're going to see, like, especially with the depth of field, you're going to see, like, the corners or the HUD down at the bottom. That might be really blurry while your character in the center is not going to be blurry. And you can kind of tweak it to your heart's content to hopefully end up finding a solution for you. Because so far for myself, I haven't been able to find a way to tweak it enough that I could just get it looking really, really beautiful and everything like that. But then the whole trade-off too is then you got blurry backgrounds and stuff. And you can see like right there, see on that uh, diamond or the gem that's up in the distance, you can kind of see as I turn the camera, 
in certain directions. That's what the god rays are. You can make that a little bit more intense if you want to the point where, uh, let me actually hop into Team Pixel 5 because this is a very good example uh, uh, of what the bloom actually looks like in action and what the uh, god rays actually look like when you end up putting them on. There, That's actually the term used in like the games and stuff. So you can see uh, right here, this is the god rays. You kind of see how it's like, really like just you know very volumetric very just ah, beautifulness uh, so you can see too as we end up looking off into the sunset there uh, or in these other directions we we can just really see it uh, very prevalently in a club like this right and it's really really cool because that's actually the sun coming up right now and if we end up like getting at a certain angle where it's the only thing that we can actually see it actually ends up kind of going around our character and making it so that it's really, really difficult to tell what's happening with our character just because, you know, the visuals just look so, so good. Like, I, I absolutely love Reshade. I can't even believe how amazing software this is, and I've used it, uh, been using it with other games as well. So, you know, go on out there and try it out for yourselves, folks. That's what I would recommend. Uh, whether it's going to end up actually working well on your computer you know, is Trove working well on your computer in the first place? I mean, I have a magic monster computer, so of course I can run pretty much anything here, but try it out for yourselves and tweak some of the settings and stuff. I'm sure there's different settings that you could also tweak that might even make the game run a little bit smoother. You know, like I know there's uh, performance tweaks where you can end up making things a little bit blurrier and that might end up helping with your computer, but maybe it wouldn't because of the fact that it's gonna be post-processed. So it's gonna be like something that's gonna be affected onto the game rather than something that's just in the game being low settings but i mean if you really want to lower your graphic settings and stuff like that you can use uh either just the settings tab itself or there's a whole bunch of secret text commands that you can end up using but anyways thanks for watching everybody hopefully you enjoyed today's video and hopefully that ended up helping you out because i know everybody who's everybody starts screaming at me as soon as i started using reshade in the videos and I mean, it's a beautiful software, dude. Like, it really is. I, this is the closest to dynamic lighting that we're ever going to end up getting in Trove, even though it's not really dynamic lighting, but the bloom, man. Like, that's beautiful. Thanks for watching, though, folks. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. That's also going to build up loyalty points in my merch store. Links are in the description for that. And for the fans that want to go the extra mile, you can donate to me for absolutely free with Gawkbox. Links are in the description explaining that as well. Sign or and stay epic, everybody.